Mabuhay! Maayong adlaw sa atong tanan. Kamusta? Today is still a pretty day, but it's gonna be a whole day rain. Um, except yesterday was beautiful, sunny, and very chill day, but it's okay. We're home and we're safe and hope you are safe too if you are watching this video. So today I decided to make pork mechado. Did you know that there is a four meals in Filipino cuisine that's they are look all the same but they are called different. They're just like one ingredient that's different. I think that's mechado, afritada, caldereta. I forgot the other one but there are four. They are look all the same for me. But today we're gonna make again the pork mechado and then here I'm gonna prepare, chop everything that we need, aromatics and all the veggies. So we have here, I'm chopping onions, garlic, and a little, uh, I, I only use, I think, one tomato here. Because again, we're only two people here, so I'm not going to make a, a huge portion, so it's good for two or three people. So here I have carrots, I peel it, and also I have potato, and I also peeled it. chop into like this size like cube size not too small it's just the same cut when I do to the meat so I use pork here I already marinate the pork and I already put on the side I'll show you here later but here is an optional if you want to put sausage I put already cooked sausage um, I think it has cheese in there it's just optional okay so this is how your carrots in your potato gonna look like in your aromatics and this is the meat the pork that I chopped there's some fat in there and then I just chopped up this size I put basic um, seasoning salt pepper and a little bit of I think I put a little bit of lemon in it squeeze lemon half lemon and then you're just gonna pan fry your carrots and potato not too brown it's like slightly brown like this it's gonna be like 70 percent cook because we're just gonna put that later on our meat so you're just gonna take it out on your pan put it on the side and on the same wok i use i use wok or a pan just pan fry your meat okay it's gonna be like that and wait until they all look brown and all the water drain and gonna be tender should be tender guys and after that remove the meat out of your wok and then use the same oil saute your um, onion some people um, use or put the garlic first it ups to you nothing wrong with that so you saute your onion and garlic and next your tomato Stir it. Guys, excuse me for my background. You can for who is here. You already know that I have two cockatiels that what you're hearing at, at my in my background. So uh, again back here after you saute your um tomato, you're gonna add your meat, which is we just pan fry earlier so here I add tomato sauce and tomato paste it look like like this little square because it was a frozen paste I put it in a ziplock and then if I need it I just like take it out and put it in there and then I add a little bit sugar and the soy sauce I don't use a dark soy sauce you can use a dark soy sauce I just I just have a light soy sauce and then you're add in your sausage it's already cooked as well I just put it on last so here I just try everything if it tastes good I think it's good and I have cheese for more creamy cheddar white cheese and mix it we're almost done here guys and then I cover it and simmer and taste it again if it's everything is good or tastes good for me I think it is look at that in here when everything is good and tastes good so you're gonna add your carrots and potato don't over mix it because I don't want your 
potato or carrots gonna be like soggy and you know look overcooked just do like that and it's optional add your green onions on top i think we're done here this is our pork michado hope you will try it this is really good my husband loves it so much and he's also bringing it at work the next day for his lunch then guys thank you for watching and have a great day tag me if you try this bye